channel if you're interested in beauty fashion or gaming you can check out my other channels down below but other than that this is just strictly food on the channel so welcome to the series where I take very interesting looking things that I see on Instagram or other social medias that are trending or I just want to try making because it looks cool obviously for all these things try and support the original since they make it for a living so obviously it's gonna be a lot better than the one that I make in my little kitchen at home just like an average person so today I'm on to attempt making some creme brulee donuts, which are from Astro Donuts and Fried Chicken. I really wanted to attempt this because I love creme brulees. I love them in all flavors. No, I'm lying. I, I just like it in the original and matcha green tea. Other than that, I don't really like the other flavors. But it is one of my favorite desserts and whenever I see it for a reasonable price, I always order it because I love the initial crack at the beginning. It's the best. It's so satisfying. But I guess let's go attempt to make it, and if you do want to see the finished results and see me tasting it, then just keep watching to the end. For the dough, I'm using the same standard donut dough recipe from my spiky porcupine donuts video. I'll leave the link down below, but in a nutshell, you mix everything together, knead it, and let it rise. Then flour your surface and with a rolling pin, roll out the dough out to about a fourth of an inch thick. Then taking circle cookie cutters, cut out a bunch of circles. I find a twisting motion works best on this type of dough since it's so elasticy. Then with a smaller circle cookie cutter, cut out the donut holes, or as the Canadians call it, Timbits. After I move the rings to a tray, surround wrap it, and let it rise again for a half an hour to an hour depending on how warm your environment is. Now for the filling, I'm going to go with a custard, I'll leave the recipe that I used down in the description box down below, but add some milk, corn or potato starch to help thicken it up, sugar, salt, vanilla extract, and an egg yolk. Then mix it all together with a whisk. While it warms up, you'll see it start to thicken if you need to add more starch to get a thicker consistency. When it's cooled, pour it into a piping bag with a sturdy or metal tip and set it aside for now. When the donuts are done rising, heat up a neutral oil and deep fry them until cooked. I also let them rest on paper towel for a little bit to soak up the excess oil, but you can also directly dip it into sugar if you'd prefer to do that instead. I then used the chopstick and poked two holes on opposite sides of the donut and kind of poked around to make a space for the filling. And then I filled the donuts with the filling. I did overfill it a bit sometimes, so just pay attention to how much filling that you're putting inside. Then with the excess sugar, I sprinkled it on top of the donuts and put it in the broiler until the sugar caramelized and hardened. I'd definitely recommend a torch if you have that instead because if you're using a broiler, the results aren't as amazing, or at least not with my broiler. <laughs> and now that it's done, let's go have a taste. Okay, well, my mic was on the wrong setting, so it was really short, and I had to refilm it, but this is what it looks like, as you guys probably saw from the previews anyways. And this is the inserted clip of me tasting it in front of you all. So what do I think of this whole thing? It was pretty big of a fail, I'd say. I mean, as far as taste goes, it tastes real good. It tastes like a creme brulee, especially the ones that are more darkened. Those ones taste a lot more caramelized and a little bit more burnt, and it was just really good. 
And fortunately, it does not have the initial crack, which is basically what makes a creme brulee a creme brulee, I'm pretty sure. But I think it's because I didn't have a torch or some type of gas stove where I could heat a spoon on top and slide it on top. And instead, I used a broiler from a toaster oven, and that toaster oven wasn't very good and it was kind of hard to maintain the heat. Like, I put four donuts in it, two at the back, two at the front, and the two donuts at the back caramelized quick and it was perfect. However, it kind of got complicated because I wanted to take them out so they wouldn't burn or like the sugar wouldn't seep into the donut too much and it would stay on top. But the donuts at the very front were still very sugary and grainy and I didn't want to release all the heat from the toaster oven and it was just, it was just very complicated. <laughs> so if you're going to use a broiler, please use a good one and a natural one that's not stupid like mine. But maybe I'll try this again, maybe I won't, we'll see. It kind of depends if I can get my hands on a torch because next time I do get a torch, I'm so confident that it's gonna turn out really nice and it's gonna have that crack when you go and hit into it. So if you guys do like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, comment down below letting me know what type of recipes you want me to attempt, and as well subscribe with the notification bell clicked down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye!